whoa, 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 what are you doing? David, I love your fantasy books, but I'm not a gamer. So interest online is really hard to understand for me. I can help with that, but what's with the sword? Well, interest online is a game lit book, right? Yeah. Watch me beat your game. No. Hi, I'm David Peterson and I've got angst. Welcome back to Believe in Your Story. In this episode, David is going to explain some of the gaming terms in his book, or I'm cutting him in half next. Whether you read fantasy, sci-fi, or horror, chances are you've come across books labeled as lit RPG or game lit. You may be interested in reading them, but are wary because they have game mechanics as a part of the story. I don't want you missing out on these great books just because you aren't a gamer. My friend and muse, Christy, has joined me today to get through some of these gaming terms so you can enjoy these stories. I've been on David's Alpha Review team since his second book, Buried in Angst. I'm not a gamer, and a few of the terms and interests online threw me at first. I figured you would have picked up on some of them watching us play video games at LAN parties all these years. Um, I come for the food and the booze. Of course. Oh, one thing I've learned watching you game, how to lose a lot. But I did love your book once I understood everything. Thanks. Fortunately, Entrus Online is pretty light compared to other lit RPG books, so it's a good place to start. There's a lot to know, so we're going to do two videos. Oh, I thought you said one. Best friend ever. This video will cover the basics at a high level. The next video will include definitions of terms used in lit RPG and game lit books, as well as role-playing games. Okay, two videos. I'm ready. What was the first thing that stood out as different from other books you've read? Your main character, Ian, reviewed his health, mana, vigor, and other stats like they were important. It was like reading a D&D character sheet. Are you trying to make me a nerd? Yes. <laughs> Some lit RPG books go deep into stats with detailed character sheets. If you're not into gaming, just think of those stats like a description of the character. Consider someone like Jason Momoa. I consider him all the time. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Scarlett Johansson may be a less distracting choice. Oh no, I consider her too. <laughs> Depending on the game or the book, Black Widow would have high dexterity and exceptional charisma. Exceptional. But in these books, characters can get more powerful by gaining levels. I don't think Jason Momoa can get any better. It's sort of like lifting weights to get stronger, or practicing with a weapon to become more proficient. Leveling is a way to measure progression. When characters gain levels, their stats improve, and they can do more damage. Ouch! What was that for? If I keep hitting you, I'll get better at it and do more damage? No. Yes. And in many lit RPG books, as well as video games, that improvement means you can battle tougher monsters for better loot, instead of beating on me. Better armor and weapons help with that too, which reminds me, fighting in these books include math. Why would you do that? <laughs> Some lit RPG books use numbers and others use percentages, but the intent is to show how much damage is done. So, like, if I were to attack a piece of cake. Ooh, cake? Well, you get Jason Momoa, I get cake. Ready to level up on this cake and... Oh, no. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> <I> there. <laughs> no. No, no. <laughs> These are different ways of describing characters and what happens. That's easy enough, but what about gamer terms? That's the next video, where we'll provide definitions for some of those terms. I'm ready! 
The great thing about Lit RPG is that once you get it, you'll find these books are fast reads. It's a quickly growing genre, and there are a lot of great books. I hope that you'll give Lit RPG and Gamelit a try. Starting with interest online. Yeah! Sorry about your book. That's all right. I'll write another one.